have an open sheet here. If you're in the middle, it's going to slide in. Oh, sure. yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not against gambling. I'm just glad Foxwoods is two hours away. <laughs> How many people in Tewksbury or Andover put down roots in the last 20 years and thought, oh yeah, there's going to be a slot pile open down the street? <laughs> How many people put down and invested in their community, in their neighborhood, their churches, and said, oh yeah, I can't wait for those slot piles come in? Not one single person. I'm standing up here today as a resident who has been advocating for this town for over 10 years actively. I want to support our selectmen. I personally believe that I have more faith in our board of selectmen and our town manager than they are having in themselves right now. I have the confidence that they can reach out and find other business that's not a 24-7 operation and bring that business into town and gain other types of revenue for us to use. We are being asked to make some change in our community that is going to change us forever. Make no mistake about it. This will change the way people perceive Tewksbury. And there is no getting around that. And most importantly, we're being asked to make this decision without the information that every other community that is making this decision has in front of them. I'm bothered by that. I'm not willing to have $3 million flashed in front of me and say, make the decision because here's the cash. The important night is next Tuesday night. Next Tuesday night at town meeting, we all have to be there and we all have to stand together. So how many people would prefer a public standing vote? Okay. Thank you. Every meeting I go to, this is the most important thing I'm going to say, the first two sentences, but I will say a couple more. The most important person here is you. I'm going to go to the meeting and I'm going to vote once, no. Every one of you is going to go to the meeting and vote, no. If you don't come, your vote doesn't mean crap. You've got to be at the meeting and vote. You've got to bring your friends to vote, your sister to vote, your mother to vote. I know you'll do that. I want two things. First of all, you have to understand that whatever deal is on the table right now, and you can take this to the bank with your friends when you're talking to them about why you're going to vote no on this, that deals change. They change all the time. When the profits aren't there, and they, when this absurd saturation in Massachusetts with three casinos and slot cars, the profits go downhill. Guess what else goes downhill? The revenue that Tuxbury is supposed to get. But once casino revenue starts dropping, which it will just as sure as the world, you can expect your state to double down and try to actually build up additional gambling in the state. Connecticut's response to its declining casino revenue has been to increase the casinos what they call free play allowance so the casinos can beef up their free play promotions and attract more people. And now the state has begun moving to put the state itself into the casino gambling business. Connecticut state legislature just a few weeks ago legalized keno for restaurants, bars, and taverns and made a secret deal with the tribal casinos to give them 12.5% of their revenue. Then a day later, key legislators proposed that the state legalize and begin to install video slots in all our OTV parlors across Connecticut. All of these moves, however, pale compared to what appears to be in store for us next in Connecticut. Nevada and New Jersey recently approved in-state online internet gambling for their casinos. And Connecticut's governor is on record as saying that if other states approve internet gambling for their casinos, Connecticut should do the same in order to protect our casinos. In other words, having brought physical casinos into Connecticut, 
we now face growing pressure to add internet gambling, which the casinos, of course, want because they want to get to a much younger audience. And I resent, and I don't care who knows it, them coming into this town and spreading money around like it's water and trying to buy a casino in the city of Tewksbury that affects those people. Don't applause because you're going to get me off track. Uh, and I appreciate it, believe me. And I resent it personally, and I know a lot of people in this town resent it personally, because we're a very giving town. The Merrimack Valley in total is a very giving area. And it's very interesting to me that the name of the casino was going to be Hollywood Casino, and they no, just they suddenly changed, changed the name yeah. to the Merrimack Valley Casino because they want everybody to think, oh, aren't they nice people?